Hello everybody and welcome to my first battle recording video. Today I am up against a guy on YouTube named Realms. I think it was Realms of the Beyond or something like that. Um, if you, you, you can find this link channel on the link description below or just look at my channel. He's in there somewhere. And I just started do, and we just decided to do a real quick little battle, like a test battle since we want to test out a new Pokemon or a strategy. So um to get started, um I got I have my Goofy or Smurgles out there who's trying to whose main goal is to set up a battlefield just to um, mess with this skills. I think mainly to keep mainly to get rid of um focus sash users. Smurgles doesn't take Giga so well, but who cares? Smurgle is kind of a suicide Pokemon on my team. He withdraws um his female trolls or I forgot his name to summon a mill mill millid. It's a new Pokemon. I have no clue what it was. So just don't make fun of my mistakes because I do make like two or three mistakes. But when I use um, my Cuddles or Reuniclus against them, I um I normally use Trick Room because he is time the, the sl slowest Psychic type Pokemon in the game, and he has Magic Coat and Psychic and no Magic Coat and Life Orb. And the thing about Life Orb and Magic Coat is that Magic Magic Coat or Guard, I think it was, is that he um he can use Life Orb without losing any HP, so I thought that'd be pretty a neat move, combo they have. It's the exact same strategy as it is on the Serby.net, so... That's where I made my mistake. Because this was my first time kind of fighting a Meloletta, because, I mean, I watched the Pokemon anime, I knew Ash had a Pokemon like that, but I never knew what type it was. I only know, only know when it, his hair goes red, it's a fighting type. He then tells me at the end of the battle that it's normal and psychic type, which it, which would explain why psychic didn't really work well, and why Shadow Ball was ineffective. So then I go on with Esper, my Swampert, and he made a mistake that he was kind of really going to regret. Swampert was um, just pretty much Earthquake spamming the whole time this match, and um, he, he swamp by Swampert destroyed, and it's mainly because he made two mistakes that he kind of regretted. My Swamper uses Earthquake to kind of destroy his female troll, and then he summons his um, legendary shiny, I forgot his name, but I think it was like Alzu or something like that. Um, I still use Earthquake, but it has Levitate, and I, and I didn't know that, but most Psychic that float around have Levitate. But he then he uses Trick, which was one of his mistakes because I had Iron Ball equipped to my Swampert. He then gets rid of um, his legendary and summons Charizard, which then he makes another mistake. Obviously, Choice Guard, he's stuck using Earthquake. Didn't affect him, but I thought this was gonna be a Charizard. Why? Um, but I thought this was gonna be a Charizard. Why? And he was gonna just use his simple Solar Beam and destroy Swampert because my Swampert cannot take Grass moves at all. And he makes a mistake because he became Charizard X while Swampert is spamming Earthquake and has Choice Band now, so Earthquake is now effective. And there goes his charge on X, which was pretty much supposed to sweep my team, I'm pretty sure, but he kind of messed up there. Then he summons his other dragon type of monster, and I have no clue what this is, but of course, I got lucky there that he missed the Ice Bang, and I do the Earthquake again. Also taking out here's Rexy. And thanks to Stone Edge or whatever not Stone Edge, um Stealth Rock and Poison thingy. His Pokemons aren't really taking any note to that focus slash. He yeah, he resummons um Meloletta and and it does some damage. But it becomes a fighting type after that, yeah, but Esper just uses an Earthquake and takes out Mel Meloletta. So you can see that Swamper is kind of destroying this guy right now, or Realms right now. And he has some Delphi, which it is still currently holding the Iron Ball, which means Earthquake is now effective. 
and it was only coincidence that I had um, Iron Ball held on my Swamper because I currently did not know what move to give Swamper at the time. I thought Iron Ball was like, oh, the Swamper held, had this item held in his hand, he can then hit Flyings and what? Pokemons of Levitate. No, that's where I was wrong. Then he summons his shiny Raikou. Um, okay, well, to finish what I was getting off. I thought I was wrong because I didn't know that Iron Ball was more of an item that was meant for Flink. Dude. And what? now, as you can see, he uses Extreme Speed to finish off my Esper. I kind of thought it was over because I only had, um, I think two Pokemons left on my team at this point. No, I had Princess, my shiny Gardevoir. Um, I don't think Princess really lasted very long on the field, but I think it did its job. I think. Lost some of his HP. Yeah, Tr Princess is also a trick room user, and it does its job pretty well. But I think he finished it off with using extreme speed. And yes, it did. And Princess was out, but at least it did its job. So, next up, my trick room Charizard, who I call Big Flip, but I changed his name just recently to Flippy. And, um, yeah, he's just a regular Charizard, um, why? Sadly though, I, and sadly though, I, um, used the wrong move, because I thought rock types would really hurt thunder types, and so my bad move there was that I used the ancient power on a Raikou, when I could have, when I should have used Heat Wave, but I didn't want to risk using Heat Wave and it would survive. Like it would miss. So then I just summoned Jace, who then finished off the battle since Trick Room is on his side. And he finished off the battle using Ice Beam. And um, that's about it. That was a good game, it was one on one, and well, that's it. This is Kenny Z here, logging out. See you guys, stay tuned.